Hey guys, what is up Dave here back to you with a brand new video on the channel and today's video is about applying the OTA image to your Google Pixel device. This does work for some other phones, but I'll have to get one of those phones in order to make the actual uh, video for it. Um, as you would use a GSI image, but that's a whole nother thing, Android 12 GSIs. We're not using a GSI today. We don't need to do this. We have a Google Pixel 3a XL right here that um, I borrowed from work. So, you know, shout out to my boss, Geauga Phone Repair in Ohio. We sell phones on Swappa. If you ever need a phone, hit me up. Um, or tablet or computer, we can work around that. We cannot yet do uh, anything as far as international shipping. We don't have a cheap enough way to go about it. But... If you're in the USA, hit me up. Anyway, this is a Pixel 3a that I borrowed from work, and I just realized you can't see it. So you're gonna have to take my word for it for the moment. I do have my webcam set up, so you will be able to see it eventually. What you wanna do is, if you wanna test the Android 12 beta, which there have been some issues, um, there's two things. One, you have to have a Google Pixel or an approved device by Google. Um, I think TCL has the TCL 20 Pro. Um, there's a few Samsung devices on the list. I think there's one or two Xiaomi devices on the list. Uh, you can test it on multiple phones, but Google Pixels are the best way to go. <clears throat> also, you just need to have basic OTA uh, ability. So over the air update ability or flashing by ADB. So if you don't know what ADB is, it's very simple. You can just do ADB installer and just go here and get it simple. Um, just grab it from here and you're good to go. You can just run through the installer. It'll install the drivers and install some other stuff. Um, other than that, you need the phone and you need to be able to put it in recovery mode. This is not unlocking the bootloader. This is not rooting. This is not custom recovery stuff. This is simply flashing an OTA image by recovery. This is the easiest way to do it, in my opinion. So, also the safest. There have been a lot of bugs with Android 12 so far. And the other thing is, if you flash the June 2021 uh, security patch update of Android 11 to your Pixel, you cannot flash this OTA. Because it's labeled as Android 11 in the build number for some reason, even though it says uh, it's Android S. But all you need to do is scroll down and find your uh, zip file. So right here, simply click it, agree to the crap, and it'll start downloading. From there, the other way of getting this is actually you have to register your phone with Google. This goes around that. And this is actually, I think, the easiest way to go about it. So as you can see, it's downloading. For me, it's downloading very fast, which is why I'm just talking through it. But I'm going to enable my webcam so you can see the phone. And we'll go from there. So give me one second. I didn't make this small enough for you to still be able to see the command prompt. But that's the other thing you're going to need is CMD. So how good is this? Is this any good? It's good enough. Whatever, it's good enough. Deal with it. Anyway, so once you have the update downloaded, simply just find it wherever it is, and you can open up CMD. And from there, you need to have either USB debugging enabled on your phone, or you need to have uh, just power the phone off, basically. If you power it off entirely, you should be fine. Um, as you can see here, I have the update right here. So what we're going to do is simply power on the phone in recovery mode. The easiest way is volume down. Well, not entirely the easiest, but this is the way I like to do it. Volume down and power from an off state. Goes to bootloader. Scroll through until you see recovery mode. Once you see recovery mode, which this camera is not going to zoom in on because it's a piece of crap, just hit the power button to select it and it'll boot to recovery, your standard recovery. I do recommend updating your phone to um, at least the second newest Android 11 before doing this. Um, 
Again, you can do it the same way. Just download the files from Google and flash it. Do not do the June 2021, do a previous. But from here, you just hold power and hit up and that gives you this menu. So what you wanna do is scroll down to apply update from ADB, hit the power button, plug in your USB cable, simple enough. Plug it in, plug it in. As you could hear, my computer made a noise. I forgot to mute the bitch. And I didn't mean to swear in this video. Oh well, one word's not gonna hurt me. So you do ADB sideload. And then just simply drag and drop this to your command prompt window. And you wanna just click on your the top bar just to make sure you have it selected and hit enter. You might have to hit enter t twice. Command prompt is sometimes a little bit weird when it's not the uh, main window. And then you just sit and wait. As you can see, it's one and a half gigs in size. So it is on the larger side and the newer pixel you have, um, the more features you might have. If you do wanna see a video on rooting Android 12, let me know. Uh, Magisk is a little hit or miss on it right now. I've had some issues with it. I have rooted Android 12 once. It didn't go very well. <laughs> the phone had a lot of stability issues, but again, that was very early Android 12. But, shouldn't be too bad otherwise. I kind of want to try an Android 12 GSI on the uh, Razer Phone 2, and luckily I do have a spare uh, somewhere. I think I have a spare. I'm trying not to show titties on screen. Um, actually, you know it'd be fun to try it. Oh wait, no, there is no GSI support on that phone. Never mind. I don't know where my second Razer phone went. But uh, I do want to try the Android 12 GSI on my spare Razer phone. Because GSI support is hit or miss on the Razer phones. There is one specific GSI ROM that works for sure, but it takes a lot to get it working. So I'm not sure if I even want to try it, but as you can see, it's actually going through. It took about a minute to send it to the device. It's now installing it. And here in a moment, we'll have Android 12 on this phone. I'm hoping. I wish I knew where my other Razer phone went because I do have two of them. I have a lot of phones on my desk. I don't even know where half of them came from. I don't even know. Oh, this is my girlfriend's S8. Okay. Anyway, I have many phones. I don't even know where half of them came from. Like, why do I have a Galaxy Mini? What's the point in this? There's no reason for me to have that. It's 2021. That phone is worthless. Why do I have a pile of computer processors on my desk? Like, legit, you know, whatever. Anyway, here's Wonderwall. So, it's almost done. I'm basically just running the video for as long as it takes to do it because I wanna show how long it does take to run the update. And I also kind of forgot to hit pause a really long time ago and I'm just too lazy at this point. So I'm just not gonna do it. So I'm just gonna sit here and update my apps on my Razer phone too. Oh, I forgot I have Discovery Plus on my phone. Yes. Why don't y'all leave me some comments on what kinds of videos you wanna watch or you wanna see. Trying to get back into the habit of recording videos. My friend and I are doing a lot more hiking because I'm trying to lose weight. Uh, for those who don't know, I have possibly surpassed 200 pounds and I'm not happy about it. So, I want to uh, lose some weight. So I'm intermittent fasting along with going on kind of difficult hikes. And it's been a ton of fun so far. So, basically what I do is I keep myself busy by going to work every day. And I'm not allowed to eat any solid foods until 5 o'clock. Uh, 6 o'clock, sorry. And that's usually when I get home from work, which is fine. And then I have one meal. Then I go to bed by like midnight. Wake up the next day, do it all over again. If I'm feeling hungry, I just chug some water. Or Monster, because Monster is only 10 calories, so it's not going to kill me. But I'm also doing these hikes, so that's a ton of fun. I want to get down to about 170. 
And then from there, uh, you know, start building some muscle. If you're a nutritionist or something like that that watches my videos, I, you know, hit me up. Let me give me some pointers if you want. It'd be a ton of fun. Or point me to some YouTube videos that I should watch about either weight loss or muscle gain or both. Uh, because I definitely need to grow the muscle in my back. That's been a problem. This is taking longer than I remembered, but then again, it's a Pixel 3a. I'm used to doing this with 4a's and 5's. So, this is taking a little longer than I anticipated. Let's check my emails. Oh, lingerie. <coughs> cool. Uh, I got, I heard back from the tuner for my Fiat. Some new stuff coming to that. I know you guys want to see a proper video of the Fiat. I've been promising it. I'm waiting for someone to step forward that can help me record a proper video and edit it. I don't want to do my basic crap YouTube video like I always do where it's just record and upload. I want to do something right with photos, rolling shots, a video. But I also have to take care of some repairs on it first. The brake lights uh, don't stay on when I turn on my headlights anymore like they're supposed to. Which is bad. As you can see, actually, now, eh, it's done. I'm going to shut up now. You can unplug it. And I don't know, you won't be able to read it. But it says S where it used to say R. So it's Android S now. You can simply reboot system now. And if you do want to try to root it on your own, the best way to get the uh, boot.img is right from in the zip file. Oh, no, it's not. Uh, take that back. It's definitely in the payload.bin. I just don't know how to open it. But I'm sure it's possible to get the file somehow. So, we're just going to wait for it to boot. I had it in dark mode at first, which is great. Oh yeah, here's a new thing. This is so I can run E85 on the Fiat. The Fuat? The Fuat. So, as you can see, I'm on the Android beta program. I need to make it so much dimmer so you can actually see. You guys can see it now? You guys can see it now. So, <coughs> that's Android 12. Here's what the lock screen looks like. If you don't have any notifications, the clock gets huge. Go away. That's what notifications in the drop bar look, drop down bar look like now. Um, I don't want to run any app updates, Google. Notification can't be silenced. All right, you're a dick. So they did change the menu layout for the top of it. It's very iOS-ish, but that's okay with me, honestly. I think it's a lot easier to hit those big buttons than anything, but you know, launcher is still pretty much the same. There's going to be a lot more editing options coming. So if you go to like home settings, there's not much you can do in here now, but they're saying there's gonna be a ton in the future. <laughs> you go under styles and wallpapers, you can't do much now. It just looks kinda like it always has, just a little bit different, but you can change the style. So you have different like icon shapes. You can also do like the different grids. There is a way to do colors and like on device wallpapers, but there's only one that comes with the phone for included wallpapers. There's no live wallpapers, which I'm wondering if they got rid of the ability to do live wallpapers. Because that would be really interesting. I don't have I don't see any ability to do an animated background. So if they got rid of that, I'm not really surprised. <clears throat> Other than that, if we go into settings, new get to know your pixel, which I don't need to do. If we scroll down to about phone, I can see I'm on Android S. Tap the build number a bunch of times, gives me developer. <laughs> and now we can go into developer options and we can see a whole bunch of stuff. So OEM unlocking is enabled on this phone. So we could have unlocked the bootloader if we wanted to, but that's a video for another day. I'll root this thing. Um, other than that, there's 
not really much that's new in here. You can still do select mock location app, but it's actually all the way at the bottom on Android 12. So it's somewhere near the top. So you Pokemon spoofers can still do it if you want to. There is force desktop mode, which makes this basically display out on the secondary display. Um, media transcoding settings, that's interesting stuff. Not really. You can actually uh, modify the uh, display um, with, I forget what this is called, pixel density. Not a big deal. Yeah, this all still looks very similar to Android 11 in here, which isn't a big deal. Um, there's not much added in here yet as far as uh, upgraded features. So I wouldn't really worry much if you are looking for the new features. You have to root and then do some stuff with Magisk, I believe, or Exposed to get some of the newer features to show up. It's basically like a custom ROM of Android 11 right now. But in the future, that should change because you can simply just go to your settings. Once you're on this, go to system, not that, system update. It'll check for an update. You can check an update again. Oh, updates are temporarily unavailable. So you might have to actually download your updates, which isn't a big deal. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Very simple thing to do if you want to run Android 12. I'll talk to you guys in a future video. Peace out.